Hello and welcome to the Lincoln Industrial Channel. In today's short video, we are covering the output adjustment of our single line parallel or Centromatic injectors. In front of me, we have a selection of our most commonly used injectors. All our injectors follow a similar principle of limiting the movement of a piston to meter the lubricant dispense amount. First up are the smaller injectors like this SL32. Each injector has a locking nut and indicator cap on the front. To set your dispense volume, simply loosen the lock nut and thread the cap in clockwise to decrease volume or thread the cap counterclockwise to increase output volume. Note that minimum output for these injectors is one half turn out from hand tight as shown here. You may then use the stenciled numbers on the cap as reference markers to help set your volume output. As a quick visual of output amount, here is the dispense of our SL32 and SL32 HVs at both extremes, minimum output versus maximum output. Moving to our larger injectors, these have a lock nut and adjustment screw positioned on the top. And much like the smaller injectors, loosen the lock nut and then loosen the screw to increase volume or tighten the screw to decrease dispense volume. Here we see the different outputs at the minimum and maximum positions. Note the movement of the indicator pins between the SL1 and SLV and SLVXL injectors. During the lubrication system pressure phase, the indicator pins move down on the SL1 while the pins of the SLVs move up. Something to keep an eye on if you mix injector types in a system or on a manifold. Additionally, as an optional accessory available for the SLV series of injectors, we offer preset adjustment sleeves to help eliminate the guesswork that goes into manually adjusting the output screw. Simply unthread the adjustment screw from the injector body, remove the lock nut, and install the selected sleeve. Thread the adjustment screw back onto the injector body, snugging the screw down. These are a great visual of the volume setting for each of these injectors without having to remember the number of turns set to each injector in the system. That's all we have on injector adjustment. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact our technical support team. If you like these videos and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you receive a note when we post more videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.